This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Aerotech. Precision motion control and automation. Take control. Speed. Precision. Performance. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. The Arctic is changing rapidly, warming faster than the rest of the globe. But its difficult to access terrain, particularly in the oceans, have made it a very poor data source. Scientists based in New Mexico are trying to change that with a potentially game-changing solution. A team from Sandia National Labs has created a sensing approach that makes use of about 37 kilometers of existing fiber optic telecom cables off Alictok Point in Alaska to investigate the evolution of submarine permafrost, which contains once living matter that was frozen during the last ice age in the Beaufort Sea. The unique system brings together distributed acoustic sensing, or DOS, and distributed temperature sensing, DTS. The DOS interrogator documents vibrations at thousands of points along the fiber optic cable using a laser pulse to record backscattered light. To obtain the DTS measurements, possible at every one meter along the cable, the researchers look at two wavelengths in the Raman spectrum in that backscatter. Within the ratio of those wavelengths intensities, it becomes possible to measure temperature. The team says their work is offering a clearer picture of the effects of warming in the Arctic, which could later be used as a proxy for other parts of the Earth. Recent advancements are helping researchers in California tackle some long-standing imaging challenges. The team, led by UCLA, has developed a plasmonic photoconductive terahertz focal plane array to rapidly generate images and produce rich, high-quality terahertz information, including magnitude and phase data, ultra-fast temporal detail at the sub-picosecond scale, and very broadband spectral information. The technology is part of a terahertz time domain imaging system the team also created that requires no mechanical raster scanning components. They say this faster process is similar to taking a picture with a cell phone camera. Conventionally, such systems feature just a single pixel terahertz detector as part of a process that's very time consuming and much more involved. The focal plane array features a distributed architecture of plasmonic nano antennas designed to enhance the interaction between photocarriers and terahertz waves that possess a much higher optical fill factor. This prompts very sensitive terahertz detection within each pixel. The researchers say non-destructive inspection applications in industries such as energy, automotive, food, and pharmaceuticals are now possible. Using precision 3D printing to create microscale optics, researchers at the University of Stuttgart in Germany have proven polymer-based materials, plastics essentially, can take the heat. The team from the university's fourth physics institute used a custom 3D printer developed by Nanoscribe to fabricate high-quality micro-optics directly onto glass fibers rather than bulky mirrors that are typically used inside a laser cavity. Specifically, the process involves directing an infrared laser into a UV-sensitive photoresist material on the fiber. In the focal region, two photons from the infrared laser can be absorbed simultaneously and harden the UV photoresist, making the tiny components very robust. From this, the researchers created a hybrid laser that combines the benefits of fibers and solid-state laser crystals. It's significantly smaller than other lasers and has demonstrated a high damage threshold while also maintaining the wide range of different powers, laser light wavelengths, and inherent stability. The researchers say this is the first implementation of 3D printed optics in a real world laser. And that's your photonics hot list. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.